Today's edition of 5 Minute History will take a timeline view at the history of America and its creation. Christopher Columbus, no. <laughs> Let's ignore the exploration of the Americas and take a look at the actual foundation okay. of the country. December 20th, 1606, the London Company colonizes Virginia, following suit Englishmen colonizing Jamestown in 1607. Skip a few hundred years and you get the 13 colonies, with the likes of Connecticut, Delaware, Georgia, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey, Virginia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and South Carolina. Now onto the part that I've yet to see any students enjoy, the American Revolution. The inhabitants of America were of no rejection to British rule until the end of the Seven Year War. Once the French Indian War ended in 1763, the first unrest started. With the likes of the Boston Massacre and townshed duties, this, this unrest grew, ultimately leading to the Revolutionary War. During this time, George Washington would begin to create an army after his election and force British troops out of Boston. Shortly after, the southern phase began. An American victory at Saratoga in 1777 and the treaty with the French in 1778 shifted the war in a large manner. And after forcing British surrender in Yorktown on October 17, 1781, the British would be ought to surrender, signing preliminary peace treaties on November 30, 1782. Succeeding this, the Continental Congress created the Articles of Confederation in 1776, creating the first loose laws of the states. After the British surrender in 1783, this new government divided power and conducted diplomatic relations. In May of 1787, 55 men from 12 states would meet to discuss the Articles of Confederation. However, a significant part of America's foundation that has not yet been mentioned was the slave trade, which occurred for the entirety of this time and would continue for many years. Following these years, American citizens began to shape the country, feeling it was their duty, with the likes of reforms and crusades. Such examples exist as the Seneca Falls Convention in July of 1848, or Jane Grey Swiss Home. It is also during this time that California and Oregon become res recognized, specifically for gold, which brought many into the state, either from within America or overseas. However, not long after, in 1861, the northern and southern states began to vastly differ, primarily over the use of slavery within the country. The North wanting to limit the use, and the South wanting to expand it. Coinciding with Abraham Lincoln's election, the Civil War went into effect. With most battles being fought on southern soil, such as the Battle of Gettysburg in 1863, following the Civil War, American slaves were freed, as the 13 amend Amendments were signed in 1865. Following these events, following these events was the Reconstruction Act of the country. With the creation of the Freedmen's Bureau, the Civil Rights Act of 1866, and several other Reconstruction Acts. Following the Civil War, America became an industrial giant. With the completion of America's Railroad, opportunities began to arise, and shortly after, an estimated 12 million immigrants arrived into the country between 1870 and 1900, in hopes of finding economic prosperity that the country had to offer. However, born Americans felt this was unjust, which led to the restrictions on immigration, such as the Chinese Exclusion Act during this era. During this era, most immigrants would enter through New York, also known as the Golden Door. Oh, and France also gave them that uh, big green statue in 1884. It was also during this time that American industry began to boom, increasing rapidly through the end of the 19th century, seeing American towns empty by the day as many citizens moved into the cities. Desire was driven by the access provided by the growth of intercontinental railroads in 1862. As Congress passed the Pacific Railroad Act, with American cities now becoming greatly industrialized, the economies boomed, but so did undesirable working conditions. Following these years, in the early 20th century, a time of vast expansion through business, politics, and safety, the progressive era of the United States began. It is during this time that the first automobiles were created and cities began to expand. During this time, President Roosevelt created many environmental acts in the hopes of ending environmental exploitation. With the Newlands Act of 1902 and many others like it, natural grounds vastly improved. Only a few years later, the U.S. would see as many as 15 million immigrants enter the country from 1905 to 1915, more than it had previously seen in the last 40 years prior. However, shortly after, the United States would enter World War I in 1917, 
in which it would lose many lives and shift from economic expansion to wartime measures. Due to the nature of war, and the effort exerted upon it, the country shortly thereafter entered an economic depression. Following the war, the 19th Amendment in 1919 gave women suffrage nationally. Now, taking a look into the economic state during this time, there was the Roaring Twenties, and shortly after, the Great Depression, which occurred from 1929 to 1939, where the majority of citizens lost half or more of their wealth. It was during this time that Franklin Roosevelt created the New Deal in an attempt to revitalize the American economy with the likes of banking reform laws, emergency relief programs, and work relief programs. Much of this decade was seen being spent by organized labor unions or a conflict of race. Following the Great Depression, the United States would enter into the Second World War, however much closer to the start this time. Following the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941, the U.S. would swiftly enter the war, following with a mass mobilization. The vastly unemployed America would see the creation of 17 million wartime jobs. On May 8, 1945, Germany would surrender, and after the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan would surrender, surrender on September 2, 1945. After the war ended, an estimated 400,000 Americans were killed and many more injured or wounded. Succeeding the war in 1945, the United States would begin to see a change in art and music along with civil rights. During this time, new music arose with the popularization of jazz and rock and roll, including television. However, the primary change within the following decades was the civil rights movement, with the likes of Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X, and many activists like them. The U.S. began to see a slow but strong push towards racial equality. In the coming decade, on July 2, 1964, the Civil Rights Act would be signed, shifting segregated America into a different era. And that reaches the conclusion of our video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay updated for new history videos.